I'm here with Luis Sorrell, legendary star of everything. You've been, you've been, <laughs> you've been in every 100 years old. Days yeah. of our lives in Santa Barbara. So yeah, fans yeah, will know yeah. you. Uh, now you're in Beacon Hill. Is this your first web series? First one. First one. What did you think I, of the experience? I loved it. I can't. These people work so hard. And of course, look at these people. Everybody in it is so sweet. I'm just, I, I, I was just telling somebody that in one day, the work that was accomplished with such uh, generosity of spirit and f and such a sense of freedom, I just uh, it knocked me out. Starting with Crystal and and Hillary and the crew and and uh, working with Tina Sloan, we'd never worked together before. It just happened. Just we clicked, and I thought, this is great. I I could do this a lot, you know. You probably will now. Well, I don't <laughs> hope so. You know. The, the, Assuming you weren't killed off in the first season, you can't... Well, you know, <laughs> that's uh, always the possibility. So, that's never happened. I haven't been killed. I've been sent to Europe a lot, but uh, I haven't been yeah. killed yet. People used to go work... The doctors leave for Doctors Without Borders. Other people go to Europe. Or, yeah, or up a staircase that doesn't have a oh. down staircase. <laughs> so I was talking to Tina Sloan earlier, and I was amazed that you guys didn't Tina. really know each other. No, we didn't. We actually didn't. We lived in the same building, briefly, <laughs> uh, in New York, not knowing it. But um, no, we didn't work together. And so we just, I think it's a brilliant pairing. I think they cast that very well. I, I agree. <laughs> I mean, we just started laughing. I mean, there was something that happened up on the location that, and she was such a good sport about it. Uh, and I couldn't stop teasing her because we were staying in this hotel that I started to call the Norman Bates Hotel. <laughs> and I kept telling her, don't worry about it. Norman will be here any day now because it was very dark in that hotel. And we weren't sure if anybody else was in the, and they, in fact, there wasn't anybody else in the hotel. And I mean, we, she just instantly was, you know, very responsive. How, what can you tell us about your character in Beacon Hill? Well, I've been saying I'm not sure yet because I worked one day and I had no idea of what was going to come out other than the dialogue that was written. Which Something was, about a diner. Oh, we, well, we run a, I can't say it's a diner, it's a coffee shop really, in which there are not only this coffee and food, but part of it was this wonderful a store full of things that my entire apartment is full of Doll, <laughs> dolls and toys and I could they could get me out of there in fact I ended up buying a witch in there that was named Vivian Ooh. I couldn't believe it right after my well, there's a Marlena doll maybe it is a Vivian doll <laughs> this is a, a witch I mean <laughs> which is fine which pardon the pun um, and I I was going crazy in this little shop but anyway, we ran this store, and we were sort of the, t were the town, I don't know if we're gossips, really, but we're sort of like a place that people go to, like in Cheers, right. a like slightly a different bar. group. But, um, you know, they come there for coffee and talk, and we sort of try to find out what's going on in their lives, and it's a political show, so there's a lot of curiosity about the politics going on. And, um, and that's what we do. I, I don't know a lot about my background and my character yet, because I haven't done that much on the show but I have some you know they have to write stuff hopefully so obviously the rivalry between Vivian and Carly didn't translate off screen Crystal hired you for this the role slightest. how is she as a boss how is she as she's a boss? the best she is so I don't know how she does it I mean when she was doing days and then she was doing the series Venice I kept saying you have two children a husband <laughs> you're on this show and you're doing another one I don't understand that it's like Superwoman. Right. She's incredible. And with such grace and no, never pressure, always there, and, and nothing unflappable. I mean, she probably goes home and you know, bites her nails, but she's the kind of person you want to work with because there's no pressure. You know, you, you, she's got the pressure, but she doesn't put it on you. That's great. All right, well, thank you for a few minutes of your time.